Back here on a special opening day edition of the MLB pregame show. Matt Vaskersian here counting down the minutes until the new season gets underway. And before it does, we'll check out our first Tops player spotlight. Eddie James is in the limelight as he was the American League's home run champ last season. Yeah, impressive power with this guy. You make a mistake over the heart of the plate, this is a guy that can take it to the second deck with the quickness right there. A game planner, doesn't cheat to anything, and he's got line-to-line -line power. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on MLB Network. It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak and Dan as we get things going this season it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. Hey just like any team pitching is going to be the key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs but putting together some quality outings early in the season could do wonders for this club getting out of the gate with a good start. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Garrett Cole gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do you have for us on him, Danny? 200 strikeouts on the season last year. That's not an easy thing to do. You definitely consider this guy a strikeout pitcher. And if he brings the same stuff that he had last year into this new season, we could see more than 200 strikeouts two years in a row. Eddie J. First offering on its way. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And it's gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. First home run of the campaign for him as the Blue Jays take a two-to-nothing advantage. After a long winter and a grueling spring, everyone is anxious to get the season started, but to start it off with a home run? There's no better way to get your campaign underway. He was rounding the bases thinking, hey, this is going to be a good year. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in D.J. LeMayhew. D.J. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They trail things here 2 to nothing. Digging in now for the Yankees, Marcus Simeon. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. Fly ball to straightaway left. James is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eddie James. He hit a two-run jack in his first at-bat. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Here's the first pitch to him. One strike now from Cole. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. 
Eddie James will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So it's a two-run shot to right center. His second home run of the game. As the Blue Jays have opened it up further now. Four to nothing. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Ready for another shot now. Glaber Torres comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One run, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Pops this one up. Bichette shading to his right, but the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And the inning is over. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. One gone here in the Yankee seventh, and that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. DJ. We're in the seventh now, Love four to one, our score to this point. Skied in the air to straightaway left. James is right there, and that's out number two. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Eddie James. He comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last at bat his second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Swing and a miss 0-1. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Steel, run Runner it. goes. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this will land out there just foul. Hey, let her Here's the 0-2. Oh Here's a drive out toward left hey, center field. There you go. You're going two, two. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. And not Wait. in time as the run scores. Man, have a game, why don't you? With that RBI double, his fifth run driven into the game, he came to play in this one. Now in the box, Vladimir hey, Guerrero hey, Jr. He's right got here. a hit in three at-bats to this point. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Bit of a surprise here Stand as he's going to try to lay up, one down. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Well, when you're trying to move a guy up to third with a bunt, that's exactly how you want to do it make the third baseman field the ball. That way his now, only play is the first. Piece. That was very now, well executed. Physio. Right, those guys in. Here we He's go. set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judges under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. A run on two hits here for Toronto. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Jays lead it 5-1. to one. You know, it's always nice to get that first one under your belt when you start a four-game series on the road. Takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails of the guys in the home dugout. 
and gives you confidence to come back and do it again tomorrow. 5-2 to two the final today. Toronto jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Andrew Heaney gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he pitched into the ninth allowing only the one hit. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Fans, our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Blue Jays, five runs on nine hits, no errors. They left six men on base. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball comes your way next. Luis Severino is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? We're looking at one of the top pitchers in the league right now. ERA just above three last year, which is saying something. This guy commands the strike zone. He's not afraid to throw strike one, controls the running game. A real solid pitcher. And if he pitches like he did last year, expect more of the same in this campaign. Ready to he's deliver. Going, Here's going. the first pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. Gone. So it's a two run shot to right center. Home run number three here in the early going as the Blue Jays take a two to nothing advantage. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to hit. Stepping into the box, now Eddie back. James. Let's he go. went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's hey. got in store for us here. From the belt, kicks and deals. Down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. From the belt, the pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And this will bang up against the wall. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Now that's Standing in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He could Guerrero really open this lead up early if he can deliver here with the bases loaded. Nope, and that not. misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again still with the bases loaded. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And with only one away, no need to test it as he'll hold tight at third base. Now batting, 
Ready for another chance. Wesley, Wesley Brunson. Brunson. This is pulled into right. That's in there. Base hit. In the score, the runner from third. And they'll hold that runner at third, so everyone moves up, and they remain loaded here with still only one gone. And this is pretty cool, guys. Not only is that his first big league hit, it's also his first major league RBI. Not a bad way to get your career started. Yeah, no doubt, Matty. He took care of the two first with one swing of the bat. So congrats to him on achieving something that's really special that he's worked so very hard for. He'll never forget this moment as long as he lives. So it's bases loaded, one away, and that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. The second for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. So all in all, they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Toronto leads this one five to one. New inning set to get underway. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Eddie James. Let her rip right here. Let's go. Here's the first pitch to him. And he fouls this one off. Hey, let's go now. One time, one time. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Eddie James will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. He waits. Now the pitch. Drilled to the right side. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ready with the one-two. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. Now batting, Eddie James. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another Eddie. single right here. That third yeah. base coach is dying to wave his arm. All right, arms. let's go now. I let's wouldn't go. be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave him. First pitch of the at-bat. This is line to left. You're going, you're going. Stanton is there, and he puts it away to stop. Yeah, this might not have been what he expected. I'm not sure he expected to have to go seven outs to get the save, but hey, he did, and he iced the victory. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. Toronto hosted 15 total hits in the ball game. Nate Pearson earns his first win of the season. Hunter Strickland turns in two and a third out of the bullpen to earn the save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays, nine runs on 15 hits. No errors, they left 10 on Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. 
James Paxton, a left-handed Canadian, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy really struggled last year. This season's going to be about a bounce-back year. Real ugly ERA last year. He has a lot to prove to himself and to his teammates that he's a much better pitcher than he was last year. Leading off for the game. Striding into the box, Eddie, Eddie James. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. Into the second deck and gone. So a solo shot down the line in left. Fourth home run here in the early going. As the Jays get the game's first tally, it's one to nothing. No doubt an impressive home run, so we'll employ show track for a more in-depth look. 112 miles an hour was the exit velocity off the bat, so it's no wonder why it ended up having the impressive distance that it did. Coming to the plate now, Eddie James. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Stanton is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that... Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. LeMayhew. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move, and the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2-1 now. And digging into the batter's box oh, next will be Giancarlo Stanton. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. More of the show, Saturday baseball, after this. Eddie James will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First pitch coming, here it is. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The tag, and he's nabbed trying for two. Stepping up to the plate, Eddie James. He'll swing it from the left side right Eddie. here. Hey, big moment. Yeah. Here we go. Like the kid, come on. Right guy, right place, need you here. You can do it, let's go, man. First pitch on its way. Pulled toward right center field. Hicks is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. Yeah, Lifetime Number numbers against Ken Giles. He's one for five. The 2-2. Two -two. 
pulls this one in the air out to left. James is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across. Now to the plate, Eddie James. And here's an at-bat you don't want to miss. The pop is something to see. So it will have to be dealt with carefully here. Hey, come on, big dog. This pitch. Nobody better. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? <laughs> All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly. First pitch of the at-bat. Shot to third. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. But look, Derek, what the Yankees have available for them in the bullpen should they want to make a move here. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? LeMayhew for one. On to Voigt, an inning-ending double play. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Belted high in the air out to left. A ball that's carrying. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Stepping in, Luke Voigt. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Voigt. Pulled high in the air out to left field. James is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. So they go down without a whimper. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Aaron Judge. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. The 2-2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. James is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Settling in now, Gio Urshela. Now a two-out hit at win it. Pass ball or wild pitch would do the trick just as well. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. James is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Yankees leave them loaded. Still tied three to three. One time right here. Coming to the plate now, oh, Eddie complete. James. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, Eddie. including a homer Eddie. to this point. Let's go right here. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. And it's now six to three. He's as hot as anybody in the game right now, hitting a homer yesterday and two more today. They need to rethink whatever strategy they're using to pitch to him because he's killing them. Man, that was definitely a hard-earned victory, but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. They take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. 6-3 to three, the final score today. Hunter Strickland claims the win out of the pen his first. 
Josh Taylor wraps it up for the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score this afternoon.